What's going on guys? Migs with X-Dynamics and we're out here in the Tehachapi wind farms. As you guys can see, the windmills are blowing. It's about 20 to 25 miles per hour out here and that's why I'm hiding right behind this car. We're out here to test out how stable the Evolve 2 will handle strong winds like this. The precise engineering of the drone's aircraft design and aerodynamics of the body is the reason why the Evolve 2 is so stable and can handle conditions like this. Each of the four arms of the Evolve 2 is equipped with a high-powered motor with a peak of 3.5 pounds of thrust. That combined with the drone's optimized 13-inch propeller design increases the drone's propulsion force and lowers the wind resistance so you don't have to worry about losing your drone or missing your shot. Next thing we're going to talk about is our gimbal. Our gimbal uses FOC or field-oriented control which uses electromagnetism to control the gimbal's torque and speed which in turn makes the gimbal precise and stable. The gimbal is designed to be compatible with different lenses and can withstand high winds like this without having to sacrifice image quality when you're shooting. Different lenses have different weights and can be detrimental to when you're shooting, adding unwanted shakes and jitters. But the motors in the Evolve 2's gimbal is strong enough to balance lenses in order to shoot in strong conditions like this. So now let's talk about some tips while shooting in conditions like this. Generally, we want to fly in position mode in windy conditions like this due to the fact that it has the GPS and has more precision. Compared to sport mode, which flies at 55 miles per hour, or altitude mode that does not use GPS. Because whatever the speed of the drone is will be relative to how strong the wind is. What I mean by that is if you're flying your drone at high winds around 30 miles per hour or so, your drone will be flying faster than you anticipate it to, which could get dangerous. Make sure you pay attention to your battery and fly into headwind in case you need to get your drone back. In the case that you're flying home against the wind, it's okay to use sport mode just because it's faster, but be careful because as we mentioned earlier, sport mode will be using more battery power and you can also lose your drone that way. Another tip is that whenever you're launching your drone, Try to launch a drone where the wind is blocked in conditions like this or somewhere where it's not very windy, like behind a car, just because when you're flying the drone, it could tip forward or you can hit unsuspecting subjects. Well, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember that flying in high wind conditions like this one is very unpredictable and dangerous, so always be careful when you're flying your drone. It's MIGS with X-Dynamics, and we'll see you guys on the next video.